One of the great things about Merit First, um, they offer a lot of different options. And one of these options is for non-qualifying uh, mortgages. So John, explain to us what exactly is a non-qualified mortgage. So a qualified mortgage, so you know, is USDA, conventional, VA, FHA, all those are conventional mortgage. If you don't qualify for one of those, this is the way you can go. So the non-QM program, non-qualified mortgage program. So if you're self-employed like a real estate agent, you're not qualified because you're on commission and you know you probably claim all your expenses, you know, etc. So the first program that we can do is a bank statement program. Okay, bank statement program, we're gonna look at the last 12 or 24 months, depending on what you are and what you're doing. And we just use that. We don't pull your credit, we don't ask for bank deposit, or uh, we don't ask for uh, sorry, um, tax returns or W-2s or anything like that. It's just bank statements for the last 12 or 24 months. So we look at your income off those, that's where we get it. And everything's based on that. Now on every non-qualified mortgage, it's at least 10%. You want cash in the game. Turn it down, yeah. Right. So that's the trade-off. Obviously, um, the benefit is if you have you know, lower credit or it's maybe not up to par or you're not a W-2 employee, you're 1099 or you're self-employed, it's not stated, so it's not like a, like the old traditional, old back school right. day, like stated loans. This is, you know, reference to your bank statement so you get, they right. can verify income. So if you are a high income earner, I shouldn't use the word high, but if you can prove income right. with bank statements, um, this is a way you can can, can go. So 10% down minimum, and then what kind of, I guess, credit score is what? At least a 659? Yes, but if you go below that, it's 20% down. Gotcha. So they'll do a lot. Um, they won't go down below 580 uh, just at this point. So and that may change because this program is changing all the time. So if you're a landscaper or, or electrician or somebody, anybody on your own, yeah. that's 1099 or your own, you own your own business, you don't get one. You know, um, you can qualify under this program, which is a wonderful thing because uh, we never hit an outlet for these people before. So, um, you know, one or two years bank statements. Uh, Loan limits up to three million, so you can see this goes up way beyond yeah. Fannie Mae, <laughs> Freddie Mac, etc. So owner-occupied, second homes, investment, all that falls under this. Okay. So if you have to be in business two years, it looks yes, like. And what years. kind of interest rate are we looking at for this over comparing comparing to a traditional? Okay, so it's ten percent down, basically, or ten, you know. So you're going to have PMI, which under this program you don't have any PMI, so you just have a little higher rate to cover that. So yes, but you don't qualify for any of the mortgage. Right. This is the only way you can go. So, you know, a little higher rate is not gonna make a big difference. Because the trade-off is with the PMI difference. Correct, right. 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 So there's right. no PMI. So for you self-employed entrepreneurs, this is an option, this is a program for you guys. Right. And then the other one is, uh, this is a very important one. Um, anybody with credit issues, so if you had bankruptcy, one day out of bankruptcy, one day out of foreclosure, you know, those kinds of things we can do. Uh, mortgage late payments are allowed, you know, etc. Again, you have to have cash. That's, that's a trade off. Yeah. yeah. That's very important. Because obviously, from the lender perspective, you're a higher risk borrower. Yeah. So you have to bring, I like, guess, skin in the game, having 10% down. Right. But the benefit is if you do have a lower credit score, um, this might be an option for you guys. Yeah, it goes down to 500. So, no, it, you know. In the past, you've heard, but if you had a bankruptcy, you need at least two, three years. I guess that's not the case with this, or how does that work? But one day, one day, that's it. So uh, FHA requires, if there's no house involved, it's two years. If there's house involved, three years. Conventional, it's uh, anywhere from four to seven years. So and VA is uh, three years. So, you know, there's all kinds of problems with those kinds of loans where you need a house, you got a family, this is a way that you can go. And what kind of interest rate are people Again, it's going to be higher, but again, there's no PMI. So it's, you, only, you don't have another choice. Right. And you're kind of hung out there. Okay. And then I think we have another program for um, people investors. We don't have it up on the board here, but if you have lots of properties, uh, we don't look at those other properties. We just look at what you're buying. So it's another one for investors. So we can do those two. What is that called? Just an investor program. That's all okay. it is. Uh, again, you have to have skin in the game, you know, et cetera. But, you can own more. Fannie Mae's got a limit of 10 properties, so this covers you over that, you know, so it's a great program. Again, the point here is there's a lot of options. Um, 
reach out to Mara first, to talk to John, uh, discuss your individual uh, you know, situation and needs to see what uh, loan program might work best for you guys. Yeah. Thanks, and always call Jeff. <laughs> Thanks.